So we, we start with the fundamentals that one, the Bible is a preserved book. It's the preserved words of God and that it is, it is inerrant. There are no errors or problems with the scripture. God has preserved his word for us today. All throughout time, God has maintained his word and kept his words pure. And we have access to those words. That is a fundamental belief that we, that we have to operate off of if we're going to understand the Bible just in general, we're going to, the way that we interpret it, that's number one. It is God's word. It is preserved by God. There are no contradictions of one place saying one thing and another saying another thing. Because oftentimes what will happen is when you're trying to persuade somebody about being saved, what do they want to do? You show them, well, Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9 say, uh, you, know, for by or, uh, you know, that for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. I almost started quoting that in Spanish because I was speaking some Spanish today. <laughs> but <laughs> we know that the, the, that's, you know, okay, that's a very clear verse, very nice, clear statement. It's a great verse to use out soul winning. Amen, I use that a lot. But what you'll find out, sometimes people say, oh, yeah, well, what about faith without works is dead. And they want to get you in this tit for tat and saying like, well, I'm going to bring up this verse and you're going to bring up this verse. And then I'm going to bring up this verse. And then like whoever wins is whoever could just bring up more verses. But that's, that's a foolish way of going about dealing with it because you have to deal with just, well, wait a minute. If what you're saying is true, then there's a contradiction here. And right off the bat, you don't have to go and start jumping around and quoting like all these different verses. You deal with just the one. You say, well, this is what the Bible says in Ephesians 2, and this is what the Bible says in James 2. And if you think that they mean something completely different and that they're contradictory to each other, then you've got a problem because you don't got the word of God at that point. Or, which is the case, you don't have the right understanding of what the verse is saying. You're understanding it completely false. So when we look at verses, you know, we need to understand the Bible is God's word. It has no contradictions. We use the clear statements to form our doctrines. What do we believe? What do we know? We're laying a foundation of our beliefs. What do we know? Well, when the Bible says a thousand times that we're saved by grace and that there's no works involved in, you know, in, in multiple different ways of saying the same thing. It's a pretty good foundation. And when it talks about eternal life and uses the words like saved and uses you know, specific words specifically talking about that subject, it's a pretty firm, pretty solid foundation that we could stand on to interpret other verses in the Bible. Because what you're going to find, and especially as we go through these, what many people will do is they take these verses that are not just clearly stating what the person who, who wants to twist it or, or is misinterpreting, will, will, they think it says. It's, they're, it's not, it doesn't just, oh, wow, that's just what that says. It's just, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's always a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a grasp. It's, it's having to apply an understanding to the verse as opposed to just letting it speak for itself.